All right, so Kanye West, now known as Ye, announces that he's running for president in 2024. I'm going to speak more on this subject, but before I do so, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Bashim Rakakadash, the monast of the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace to the whole full light scattered abroad at the four corners of the earth. So as y'all can see here, I have a few titles and headlines from some articles. So I'm just going to read through, through them. This is from the Rolling Stone. Kanye West announced his 2024 presidential bid seems to call for Christian theocracy. Kanye West announced his 2024 presidential bid amid far-right ties. And lastly, Kanye West says he asked Trump to be his 2024 running mate. So interestingly enough, Kanye said that he's demanding that Trump holds all policies of America to the Bible. Since we know and all the Christians in America that love Trump know that Trump is a conservative, we're going to demand that you hold all policies directly to the Bible. When Trump started basically screaming at me at the table telling me I was going to lose, I mean, has that ever worked for anyone in history? <laughs> You're going to lose. Tell so, I get the feeling that Ye understands that running for president is not easy. I mean, you need the funding. Most people that run, they get lobbyists. They get money from corporations. They have lobbyists. And so it's interesting to see how Ye would even fund his presidential run. Also, Trump has a lot, a lot of supporters. And for Ye to run against Trump, I wouldn't really see him winning. I wouldn't see him winning. You know, it's arguable that Trump won the 2020 election. So... This is this is really futile at the end of the day. I mean, if Ye opened up his Bible and read it with the true proper understanding, he would know that America is gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. He would know that. And so Ye also said that he misses how in the nineteen sixties America had visionaries and innovators. And America got away from that. And so, what Ye doesn't understand is that this is a biblical prophecy. You know, America has been falling gradually throughout the years. And as I said, eventually this place is going to be wiped out. And so, it's going to be interesting to see if Ye actually follows through with what he's saying he wants to do as far as running for president in 2024. But what I want to focus in on this video is what he mentioned that he wants Trump to do if he winds up winning the election in 2024. So this is Job 18 and 6. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. And the steps of his strength shall be straightened, and his own counsel shall cast him down. So this is speaking about the wicked elites, the Edomites, Esau. And as it stands right now, this is their kingdom. They're in power right now. And what a lot of people don't know is that America is controlled by Great Britain. You see, the elites, they come up out of Great Britain. So for anybody to think that a president, when they get into office, has real power or control, you know, they don't understand how things work in this world. The president is really just 
a figure. The president is a puppet. And so the at least they have the NWO agenda that they're trying to roll out. And ironically enough, it's going to be one of the things that contributes to their downfall. You see, it's going to backfire on them. Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, everyone into his own country. For her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. So you cannot salvage this place. You cannot heal Babylon the Great, which is America, even if you wanted to. You see, his prophecy is written. And you can't stop that. So if Ye understood the scriptures, he wouldn't even waste his time trying to run for president. He wouldn't even get involved in politics. You see, all that is, it's just smoke and mirrors. It's just a soap opera. People are given the illusion that they have a choice with their vote and who they want to be in power. But again, they're just puppets. And in reality, the, the top wicked elites, the Edomites, they rule the world. Like Job 9 and 24 says. This is Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through the pride of his continents will not seek after God. The most high is not in all his thoughts. So how could anybody really believe that America is going to be predicated upon the laws of the Bible. I mean, my question is, yeah, if you were to get into office, hypothetically speaking, or even if Trump was to get in office and he did what you wanted him to do, do you really think that they would start banning tattoos? That's against the law in the Bible. Do you think that they're going to ban moles? Do you think that they're gonna outlaw adultery and put and put all these laws into effect in the Bible? That ain't gonna happen. You see, when the world is really gonna be set into order is when Yahweh comes back. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Micah chapter four, verse one speaks about that and also Isaiah chapter 2 and 2 you know that's when this world is really going to be set in order and that's one of the reasons why our Lord needs to come back and is going to come back because this is all prophecy and for Ye to really think that he can get everybody in this nation on board and on the same page and um, have the principles of the Bible held to a high standard. I mean, he's, he's delirious. You know, that's never going to happen. Psalms 10 and 5. This is speaking about Esau, the Edomites. His ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. And as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. And Esau, he's, he's very prideful. He has a lot of pride. And he believes that he's not going to fall. And that's something that's going to come as a surprise to him. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. And under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, and the secret places does he murder the innocent. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lies and waits secretly as a lion in his den. He lies and wait to catch the poor. He does catch the poor when he draws him into his net. So Esau. 
what he's really mostly concerned about is himself. You know, Esau, he doesn't want to uphold the laws of the Bible. He doesn't want to put it into effect because he's the wicked. You know, really, money is his God. That's what he worships. You know, he worships Satan. So they're always going to just look out for themselves. And um, even if something is detrimental to themselves, they're, they're not going to take it into account. Because they're, they're only really focused on the now. They're, they're focused on satisfying themselves in the moment. But you saw he's, he's going to have a lot to answer for. I mean, just think about all the wickedness that's been done in America. And not only America, but also this world. Because again, he is in charge of this world right now. He's in power. This is his kingdom. So, yeah, maybe many people aren't keeping it real with you. Maybe some people are, but you're weighing over your head, and it's a waste of time for you to think that you can salvage America. Because ultimately, it's prophesied that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. So, anyway. Hope you found this video edifying. Shalom.